All right. We're tacking it right now with that itty bitty staple gun, that little quarter inch crown gun. The only thing we're doing is just tacking it. We're gonna go back and screw every bit of this down. So if you're wondering what in the world are they thinking, we ain't doing that. We're gonna screw it all down with uh, with deck screws. We're just uh, we're just tacking it right now to get it up here because we don't have any screws to work with. The only thing we got is three inch right here, and that's gonna be a little big. You know, it's gonna stick out the inside. How it might get skin up on the inside? We'd be breaking screw heads off for a week and a half. You know, yep. so we're gonna get some uh, inch and five eighths or inch and a half, and screw all the plywood down. Fix to get back here on the back and put this down. We're gonna cut the holes. We're gonna try to get the tin on this thing because it's supposed to rain tonight. And if handle tighten up, we might get all this stuff done. Yep. And I still ain't found no mattresses. She's still looking for mattresses to go in the thing that don't it's cost an arm and arm and a butt cheek. mattress. Yeah. But anyway, she's coming on alone, people. We gonna have us a little place to sleep. Little place to cook some catfish up on the front porch right there. It's gonna be nice. Looking forward to it. We can never get the catfish in the hole. It's fixing to happen. Anyway, let me get back at it. Gonna put y'all on high speed and low drag one more again. Here we go. Got the tin on the top, got the siding up. We hadn't screwed the siding down. It's still just tacked with the quarter inch uh, crown staples just to, just to hold it. Oh, uh, got the front door installed. Oh, uh, should get the windows installed tomorrow. But we got it dried in like we was wanting to do, you know, for the rain tonight. And uh, got everything buckled down pretty good. You know, got a lot to do yet, but, uh, you know, pretty good. Not, not a bad day's work anyway. Not bad at all. I'll take you on inside. It's about dark, but we're running a little bit behind right now. I mean, we even got keys for this thing. You see that? Yeah, you can't see anything inside, but... Tomorrow morning, I'll get uh, I'll get out here and get you on a video and let you see what's going on. But you see it. It's going to look pretty good. There's two windows on this side, two windows on the front, a door in the back, a door in the front, two windows on this side. So six windows, two doors. Not too bad. Not too bad. Anyway, we'll get y'all busted off tomorrow morning and get after it again if it if the rain you know if it ain't raining, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I believe she's gonna be perfect. I like. I do too. See y'all tomorrow. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. All right. I know it's a mess this morning, but uh, we didn't have a chance last night to get picked up, cleaned up around here. But uh, got the tin, everything screwed down on the top, really good. Oh, didn't hinge the roof like I was thinking I might do. I was scared that if everybody come to the front while we was cooking them catfish, you know, which everybody's going to have to be up there helping us eat them while we're frying fish. But I knew that the oh, if it was raining, then the water was going to run this way. You know what I mean? It's going to run down that front wall. And I just I just said, I'm going to make it solid. And I'm going to figure it out whether I, while we're traveling down the road, open the front and back door and let it breathe or whatever. You know what I mean? But uh, still going to attach it, you know, to the floor right there. So, I mean, it's not going to just be free spanning out there. We're going to have it. We're going to have it fastened down really, really good uh, for when you meet them big trucks on the highway. But uh, I've been thinking on outriggers and just in case it is a little top heavy. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, if it wants to lean one way or the other, you know, if everybody's moving around in there. I just, I don't want to have to worry about that. So I've come up with a, a deal with some 55-gallon drums, you know, that I've been thinking on something that we can take on and off during transit. And uh, 
you know, it'll just attach to the side. Whether it be two 55 gallon drums on each side or just one and put them further away. And then the, the bigger footprint you've got, like if you go out this far, six or eight foot, the bigger footprint that you've got with that flotation out here, the more, you know, stability you're going to have on that building. But uh, that can be installed after, you know, after it's been, you know, put wherever it's going to be put in the river or whatever. Oh, you can come back and install those, you know, from just, you know, from the pro drive over there. But anyway, oh, six windows in the door yet to put in. Oh, fixing to get started on it this morning. Just going to get y'all caught up. It's going to look a lot better when we get the oh, windows in it, but, oh. Anyway, I'm hoping, I hope y'all enjoy the, the videos that we're doing. And, uh, you know, I tried to read through some of the comments last night, and I appreciate everybody's input, and it does help. You know, it gets my mind thinking in other directions sometimes. So anytime anybody's got a, an opinion or whatever, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm all ears if I can ever have a chance to read the comment. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm thinking that uh, it's going to, this thing's going to be pretty neat, pretty neat. I can't wait to smell them catfish frying on that front porch, though, you know what I mean? Whew. It's going to be pretty cool, y'all. Anyway, we're going to put y'all on, uh, I don't know if we're going to put you on high speed or not, but I may just do updates because most of the majority of the stuff that's going to be done now is going to be done on the inside other than windows and, and that that sort of thing. So uh, we're going to try to get, uh, get a lot done, and I, I may just stop every now and then and do videos, you know, and, and, and talk to you about it. But anyway, uh, I'll see y'all in a little bit and talk to y'all after a while. We're going to get this thing rolling. Didn't get as much done yesterday as I wanted to, but I uh, still got a pretty good bit done. Got the side and screwed down really good. Got it, you know, got it bolted down to the uh, the floor joist of the pontoon boat, which that was what I was, you know, mostly concerned about was getting everything tied together, make it super strong, you know, for going down the road. Uh, I'm gonna put supports on the front porch right here to to actually hold them down to the floor of the pontoon boat. Also. And uh, possibly some outriggers on the side. I don't know if I get that done today, but I was going to try to start working. I'm I'm thinking on that, and I've got it figured out how to do it. But I've just got to, uh, you know, get the time to do it. But uh, still got some stuff. I mean, like that trim right there. I've got to still, you know, fasten that down. I mean, we got a long way to go. You know, it's just a couple of days in it right now. So I mean, we we've got. Uh, we got a pretty good ways to go on it, but coming on along with it pretty good. Did get some of the inside work done. I mean, you know, as far as the wall covering, didn't get uh, didn't get anything built in here. Just you know, just got the ceiling and all. 
Oh, we got everything insulated and sealed and, and uh, got the, you know, the wall covering up. Anyway, it's looking pretty good. Like I said, got a ways to go, but hey, you know, we're getting there. And boy, I got a splinter in my shirt somewhere that is driving me crazy. Anyway, oh, 40 degrees this morning. You know, I ain't never seen weather like this in Alabama. It's just, it's unbelievable. But, uh, I just want to get y'all caught up. I'm fixing to get at it today and, uh, see if I can get some of this interior stuff done and, and, you know, just plucking away at it, folks. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. All right. Saturday morning, what, got four days in it. Got it looking pretty good. Thinking on some stain colors. Had a fellow on YouTube said something about instead of putting the V in front of the, uh, you know, actually mounting it under the porch right there. He said, why don't you just build it where it's on the trailer? And I said, good idea. May try that. So I may work on something like that. Uh, you know, and see how that works. Got plenty of tie downs. You see them. I've got them. I've got some old ones I had, and I just got them, I got them bolted all the way around this thing to, uh, you know, to strap whatever to, or strap it to the bank, you know, when we're not using it. Oh, got a pretty good bit done yesterday inside. Well, we're blacking now is the beds and some floor covering, and uh, coming on along, put the air conditioner in, I got to do that. Oh. But anyway, coming right along this morning, can't believe that down here in South Alabama, it's, it's, I think it's in the 40s this morning, and what is it, May, I forget what day it is, but, oh, you know, it's, it's way too, uh, it's way too cold for this time of the year here. Anyway, coming on a long way that I was going to get y'all caught up, I'm, I'm thinking about, I uh, had some people on YouTube say something about Ready Seal, and I've looked it up, and I can find it at Lowe's. I may go to Lowe's and get, get some stain and stain, you know, I'm going to have to seal the wood, so uh, I'll need to do that this weekend. But anyway, it's coming along pretty good. Oh, the stability thing, I'm thinking, oh, Got a lot of people saying that it's going to be okay like it is, you know, because I did go with such lightweight stuff on the walls and it shouldn't be top heavy. But if it is, it's going to be no problem to build something that swings out and, you know, has uh, some extra, you know, stability like outriggers or something on the uh, sides. Anyway, looking pretty good so far. Just got to finish it up. All right. Fix and stain it this morning. I'm gonna put y'all on uh, high speed, but I'm gonna go ahead. I got a cedar colored, uh, I think it's Valspar water based stain. I'm just gonna go ahead and stain the whole thing, and uh, that way you ain't got to worry about the, you know, get some get some protection on it anyway. Anyway, that's what I'm working on this morning. Got it stained. Got my air brake on the front right there to divert the wind down the sides and get it out from under that roof and protect those those uh, two windows and the door. And uh, even had some, mom had some signs. We just tacked them up on the side just to see what they would look like. Oh, uh, gonna build a probably a big sign, you know, across both sides. Oh, uh, appreciate y'all grabbing cabin, catfish cabin, something you know, made out of old rusty tin or something. But we're gonna work on that, and uh, I'll do a. I do an update on that, but uh, put it on the water the other day. It floated awesome. I mean, I loaded it on the trailer, no problem. Got it off the trailer, no problem. Everything just worked out great. It wasn't top heavy or anything. Got home, 
And I always, I always grab, you know, I always touch the hubs or whatever when I, you know, when I go on a little trip. And it's about a 30 miles at all it was, you know, the local lake down here. Touch it, both of these hubs on this side was on fire. Well, this, this trailer, this travel trailer frame, both of them had, uh, had brakes on them, you know. And I figured, I was hoping that maybe those shoes inside those drums had separated or something, you know, and, and, uh, and got in there and got it hot. I was hoping that that was the case because the other side's, you know, the other two on the other side was good. And I could hear something on this side. Well, the front one, that one right there, that was the case. It was, you know, that, that one of those shoes had separated and bound up in that drum and it got hot. Anyway, that one, the Baron was bad. And the other two over there were, were good. I just went ahead and ordered all four of them. You know, all four, you know, got the bearings for all four uh, hubs and just re went ahead and repacked the new bearings and just redid the whole thing. That way I won't have to worry about it. I did a YouTube on that, too. I'll, I'll try to post it in the next week or so. But uh, I just wanted to finish up this this uh, video. I know y'all seen it live on the water and the stages that we went through. But this is just to end it up right here. You know, I appreciate everybody. I know, uh, I know it's been a long week or so that we've been working on it but uh finally got it you know close enough that i can do a video to end it up next one y'all see we'll be cooking catfish on the front porch right there oh hannah when she ordered these little mattresses right here she ordered an extra one so we just took and turned it up and we're gonna make a couch i mean it sits so good y'all because that's memory foam right there it sits good anyway if somebody else comes they can we can just take it and put it right here and I'll uh, have a have a third bed in the front right here. I've got oh uh, in the back of the truck I've got four anchors that are eighty pounds a piece of sacasacre and I put an eye I'll, I'll go back out there and show you in a minute. I'll put an eye in them so I can use them for anchors or or counterweights or something. But uh anyway. That's Hannah's gonna be the top bunk right there. I'm gonna be the bottom bunk. Let me show you what I did right, right here. This is pretty cool. I I wake up before everybody else, so uh Put me a little light right here. And I don't want to get up and wake everybody up. So I put my phone right here. You see it's adjustable. All it is a bow rack, you know. Or a game camera, you know, real tree game camera rack. But anyway, I put my phone in it and watch Netflix. And then I just twist it back up there. That way I don't tear my head up on it when I'm getting out. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, let me show you those anchors out there that I built out of all sacrete or concrete. But next time y'all see a video, I'm hoping, oh, uh, if it ain't me building them, oh, uh, you know, putting them wheel bearings in, it'll be us cooking the catfish live, I hope, in the next couple of days, maybe. If we can get a catfish in a hole, that's what we plan on doing. But these are going to be my anchors, and like I said, they're 80 pounds a piece. I got a, a, a sack of sacrete in each one, and uh, I just put an eye in them. You see it. So that right there ought to hold it pretty good. That, and I've got chains and stuff to uh, to lock it to a tree, and I've got ca game cameras that I can put in the trees around there, you know, and just keep an eye on it, you know what I mean? That way if somebody messes with it, then, you know, we'll know who it is or whatever. But I don't believe anybody will. But anyway, that's it, folks. I appreciate everybody's input and uh, comments, and, and I try to read them all. I know I don't get to all of them, but, uh, hey, all the good ones, man, thumbs up. You know, y'all, I appreciate everything. Appreciate y'all.